The point is moving around on the keyboard without guiding your hands and staying in the space that you learned to retain in the first step. So there's one way of doing it, it's to practice just both hands making choices. Now right now I could think, oh, two-handed line, and I could say I want to guide this and maybe it's going to go in some sort of direction that I could call as allegoric or 20th century music or who knows what the mind would conjure. But I don't feel that. In fact, I'm not even involved because I'm talking to you. So I'm talking to you. So who's playing over there? Ah, that is a subject for philosophical debate through the end of time. And I hope we don't kill each other over the differences in what we think that is. But something plays for you. Maybe it's just a neurological thing where the fingers become remote, remote controls, and they do the movements themselves. Therefore, whatever this music is, for me it's not music. It's like the hands are moving together or apart and making dropping fingers. And I'm in touch with the dropping of the fingers, the stretching of the hand, and the arms moving close together or apart. But I'm not making the choices. And if I started to think that it was music and I made a choice, you'd hear something like this.